Hey, this is Krista Makes from Less Than Jake, and you are watching Thank God for Jury Duty. The witness admits. I'd probably be screwing you on your, your insurance policy right now. I'd be an insurance salesman. I look good in a suit and tie and a short haircut. My mom tells me that at least. So the name of your new album is See the Light. What does that mean to you personally? Um, I can't really tell the light. Um, well, you know, for me personally, you know, I like to for everybody to have their own interpretation of what it means. But for me, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's positive vibes. It's you know, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, um, having things to look forward to in life. Um, the the front cover of the record has the door with the light shining behind it. So it signifies new new beginnings to me. But. Um, it can mean whatever you or whoever is watching this or whoever likes the band, uh, you know, it can mean whatever it want, you know, wants to them. I say that the record has a real positive uh, uh, overtone in the lyrics um, and, you know, basically, you know, you, you have to have faith in, uh, in anything in life sometimes to, to persevere and to get through. So, um, you know, uh, if you just go through life shuffling your feet and not really having anything to look forward to or have positive vibes for, uh, you know, it, it seems to be more of a struggle, at least that's for me personally. I read a lot. Like, I'm always reading. Like, I read, I don't know crazy amounts of books, so I like to read a lot. Pretty much, primarily, I read like rock biographies and music books and, you know, musicology type books. So, you know, anything music related is my favorite kind of stuff. And my favorite book by an artist was the was the uh, the guy Meatloaf. His, his autobiography is hilarious, it's awesome. I'm not even a fan of Meatloaf, but I liked his book. Crazy tour stories. Well, one that comes to mind was um, a couple years ago, uh, I was playing and I had my back turned and all of a sudden I got hit like in the small of my back with this like thud of an object. And I'm like, what the hell? And I look down and it's a prosthetic leg. And I'm like, that's kind of weird, but I noticed that there was a Converse shoe attached to it. And I'm like, that's someone's leg that came off. And we get done with the song, I'm like, this is, I believe, someone's leg, and this dude's hopping up and down on one leg, and he's like this with his arm in the air, and people actually picked him up and passed him to the crowd. The security gets him on stage, and he puts his prosthetic leg back on that had fallen off in the pit when he was going crazy. So. <laughs> yeah. JT, who used to play Arrogant Sons of Bitches, he got in touch with me um, early 2013 and pitched this idea to me. I thought it was great. Um, at the time, I couldn't do it because, um, you know, Less Than Jake was busy writing and recording a record. We were doing touring around that. Um, we went ahead and uh, wrote the record, did a bunch of touring this past summer. Um, did a five-week tour this past fall, and uh, the only time that all three of our, you know, us and the Skygo Solo thing, all, our schedules coincided was this January, um, and it was, you know, something that I've been wanting to do for years, and it seemed like a lot of fun, and you know, um, here I am. Is it a lot different touring? It is. I mean, you know, we're 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 doing it really bare bones. It's three guys and acoustic guitars in the car. And uh, in the back seat, we have all of our merchandise stacked up, all a bunch of t-shirts. So it's really bare bones. Um, it's, uh, you know, we don't have to get to the venues till, you know, five or six o'clock at night. Whereas, 
you know, with the production and, and the band and all the equipment, you know, you have to get there around 12 noon and you're there all day. So this is a, a, a lot slower paced and, and different different vibe, but it's 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 cool. <laughs> Nothing to purchase yet. I'm gonna get all that going this year. I really, you know, uh, I, ha I have some stuff recorded, but you can go to skagosolo.com. I have a song called Up on the player there. And uh, I'm gonna get like a Bandcamp page or something going where I'll have my songs up for sale and I'm gonna, you know, try, try to record something proper uh, this next year. But this tour, how it came about, I was, I was so busy that it was kind of like, either I do this, it's now or never. I gotta do this thing now. And eventually I'll get some material out. You know, typically you would have material for sale and out, but uh, you know, if people want to get at me, they can get at me um, on Twitter at less than Chris. You can follow me there, and uh, I'll have updates on all my stuff. And uh, eventually I'll I'll probably get a you know a Facebook page or a Bandcamp page or something going, and I'll be selling my stuff through there. Yes, it was um, it was called Ten Song CD. You can see it, you can find it on YouTube. Um, and the irony of it is, that people got screwed out of five dollars. Um, because basically I was selling it for five bucks and it was just one song, but it was called 10 Song CD. That was the name of the song and I don't know, go listen to it. Basically, the lyrics are about illegally downloading songs and stealing, stealing music for free. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. And people called me an a-hole for it and I got all kinds of hate mail for it and it is what it is. So you wouldn't do that again? No, I already did it once. No, I'm not in the business of screwing people over. I've had a great career. I've had 20, 21 years of, of, of people like yourself that want to talk to me, and, and I've had great fans, and it was really a joke that was ridiculous, and people spend $5 on way worse silly crap than, than one song, and the song was good, so as far as I'm concerned, I got their five bucks worth, and all the songs that they stole from me and my band over the years, hey, it all works out. I can sleep at night. It's in the pit of you.